Hey guys, and happy Halloween. We're gonna build a skull today. <laughs> the 3D printer is now working and we're gonna go ahead and try to run something. Um, this will be our first real print job and so I've Been looking for models here on Thingiverse. I'll leave a link in the description and this is a pretty neat site the uh, creator maker butt created for sharing 3d models and You can put yours on here as well as download other people's and You can see I've got the uh, candy bowl skull up here that uh this guy um, put together and he shared with the uh, the group it's pretty neat I searched for the term Halloween just to find something to print to get me started and there was just pages and pages anyway I settled on this one it's pretty big for my first job but I figured what the heck now keep in mind I don't know what I'm doing totally because I'm new to 3d printers and it's a little bit of a di different beast than a CNC router but anyway um, this site shows what to expect and it also um, tells you about the file and there's instructions here and you can click on the uh, little folder here and download the parts. You can see that there's four parts here to make up this skull. And so what I did is I just downloaded them to my computer and then we use this program um, that comes with the 3D printer. It's called Slicer with the 3 as the E. Anyway, I'll leave the link for that too. And as far as I know, this is a free program to use. And um, it's very easy to use. You can see the four figures here on this side. Those are the four files that I imported in, and here's a list of the files here. And you can put them on this bed, if you will, pretend like this is my bed to print, my 3D printer bed. And you can move the objects around so it fits on your bed in a way that makes sense to you so you're not wasting plastic. And also the best position to be printing them. Anyway, you can see how you can organize the parts. And this is probably at like a top-down view. And then there's a circle around the whole thing that lets you know the area that you're going to need on your 3D printer. And then you can also, you know, you can flip parts and rotate them and turn them so that it makes sense. Because you have to, it's better to start with a flat surface to the glass and then build up the crazy shapes. But it's different for all objects and it comes with the experience of just using the machine. I have very little, like I said, and there's going to be some tricks in figuring all this out, but I do know it's best to have a flat surface on the glass bed. Anyway, once you get this set up, you just go uh, and you're ready to print, this thing will slice it down, and you just use this button right here, export G code. And you can see it's going right now, and it's been running for a while. It does take a while, I guess maybe five minutes now. And when it's all done, it'll give you one file of G-code for this entire job. And then I can load it onto my SD card and put it in my printer. And we're going to go over the printer and print this thing out and see what it looks like. Okay, well, here's where we put the printer. And we've got it set up, ready to go. We plan on making some improvements to this area, but it'll get us going for now. I've got a light set up here because I'm going to be doing some filming. Anyway, um... There it is so far, and you can see I've got a webcam on it here. And I'm going to record the entire skull being cut, and then Steve will speed it up in editing. But uh, I plan on doing making another video of the features of this, but I want to get some experience under my belt first on using it. So I'm just going to dive right in and uh, start making this skull. And uh, there's some things, too, that I learned about this surface here, this glass surface started using glue sticks because hairspray didn't work anyway that's a different video so we're gonna fire this bad boy up and get it working it's kinda nice you just take your SD card and put it right here on the side 
There's a little reader. Kind of hard to see, but it's there. All right, let's get printing this part. the skull parts right off the printer and I haven't done anything to these yet normally you have to kind of trim them up maybe do a little sanding and this is my first print that didn't come out perfect but hey I think it come out pretty good so um, you can see in here it looks a little bit rough I'm not real sure why but uh, it is but look at the detail on that. I wonder if this was actually a scan of a real skull. It kind of kind of looks like it might be because look at the detail on that. You can see how big I printed it compared to my hand. It's quite small. Anyway, I'm not sure why they did it in all these pieces. Maybe that's how you have to for 3D printing so it doesn't... Uh, so it lays on the bed flat. I've got to clean these up. So anyway, this is uh, the top of the head here. And you can see I've got some some uh, warping going on. But I haven't pulled the uh, support stuff, stuff off it yet either. This is just tape that we're playing around with. And uh, I'm not sure why, but this jawbone has two pieces too. And maybe it's just something to do with how it should be printed. I haven't learned all this stuff yet, so I'm not real sure. You can see I pretty much printed something without knowing much of anything, so there we go. And then that fits down in there. I think the I think the jaw just snaps in there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you can see there's a pivot point there. Then I'm just going to bend this a little bit. There we go, snapped right back. Yeah, look at that. That fits nice. I, I'm still not sure why they didn't just print this as one piece. Why is it two pieces? Yeah, why did they do that? I'm sure you guys know that I already have 3D printers. Let me know in the comments why this couldn't be done in one piece. This, I kind of see why, you know, they sliced it so that uh, you'd have a good flat end to put on the bed. So I've got to use some sandpaper and make both these really flat. I, uh, I made one mistake. I think I should have turned my heat bed off or turned it down, rather, after the first or second pass to prevent warping. 
but that's all stuff that will work out easily. Thanks for watching, and happy Halloween. <laughs>